So today we are all ready to start getting those posts in the ground that Spencer has built. He got them all primed and painted, so we should be all good to go to get them in there and start pouring concrete. And hopefully we can get this done today because we have a bunch of rain heading our way on the forecast, of course. I know everybody always says it rains here and it really does feel like it sometimes. But yeah, we should be able to get this done because we actually have a little help this week. My best friend is actually in town and she also happens to be my sister. <laughs> so I've been hanging out with her a lot and getting some nice quality time in and she's been a huge help with Bo. So we should be able to get this done. But yeah, I'm very happy that she's here. This is her first time coming here. And you guys know that we've been here for over three years now. So first time seeing the house and everything. But yeah, she is here to help out with Bo whenever I go into labor, which should be happening any day now, any second. <laughs> I feel like my stomach keeps popping out on my shirt. How much you can do about that one? Need some tall, tall peas. Mm -hmm. So I hear doing concrete work induces labor. Yeah. Do you, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you think there's any truth behind that? No. <laughs> I hope so. Do you want to say hi to YouTube? <laughs> you don't have to. I just wanted to know if you wanted to. What would I say? Hi. Yeah, just say hi. Hi. <laughs> it's just a few people that watch. It's okay. I find that it helps. Well, now it doesn't help actually. I was gonna say if you picture them naked, but it makes it worse. <laughs> Hey guys! <laughs> Take three. Hey everyone! Grab a level and came out with a pen.
All right, so I got all my uh, posts in the ground, concrete setting, at least the uh, footers. I still have to uh, slide some sonda tubes over the post and, um, and then fill that with concrete. But until then, what I'm gonna be working on is the arms for the solar array and the purlins. So with the arms, I just have some C-channel that I'm gonna bolt to the posts and then I'm gonna have those trailer jacks come down and that would be the additional support. So it's adjustable and also that's it's a support. I don't, I think in theory this should work out pretty well, but uh, I mean they are intended for trailer jacks or they are intended for trailers. So I don't know if they're gonna to have too much play or whatnot, but I guess I'll have to address those issues when I get there. All right, well, today I'm gonna to have to shift gears and do something a little bit different. Last night we got a ton of rain. It just, it, it rained most of the night and just everything soaking wet. All my holes out there are filled with water and it's been pretty much constant rain all day. So tomorrow it's supposed to clear up. So today I'm going to finish up a few things that I need to do. One is this bench needs to be painted. So, like I said, we got a lot of rain the other night, so that's not evident. We just had a downpour of rain, and so much, apparently, it was able to collect on top of this and allow it to collapse in on itself, like a dying star. Uh, so, <laughs> let me take it apart and see if it's broken. Hopefully this just is, it's allowed to fold up like a pretzel, fingers crossed. Hopefully nothing's broken, but probably something is. Well, it's standing on its own now, but uh, it's bent in like four or five different places, so no bueno. Okay, so what I'm gonna be working on now is just pouring some concrete for these uh, sono tubes. The footers have had a few days to dry. Granted, I mean, we had that downpour, which filled in my hole with water and mud, which I had to dig out and whole mess this morning. So that's all cleared out. I'm gonna be pouring some concrete for these sono tubes. And if you're wondering where Ken's is, She's very, very, very pregnant. So she's not feeling too well. So yeah, this is going to be the Spencer show for the next, uh, I guess, couple of days, weeks, months, possibly years. I don't know. I guess we'll see.
Is this actually gonna work? Hopefully so. Have you ever taped two pieces of Sonotube together? <laughs> no, but I don't have extensive history with Sonotube. So. <laughs> yeah, he has four of the posts done and still one more to go and we ran out of Sonotube. The reason why I ran out of Sonotube is because I originally was going to design this as a four post, but I decided to go with the five just to make sure it was extra strong because this is going to be a very 20, 24 panels. Right. With just five legs, or it would have been four legs. All right, um, this is not looking too promising. I know. So, they're both 12 inches, but the reason why they do this is for like shipping. They can ship more together. Right. So is it still gonna work or no? Um, Only one way I to could, find out. I could make it work. But the thing is, the big one need, now needs to be on the bottom. I was gonna make it on the top, or I was gonna make <laughs> this one on the top. Now it's gonna put even more pressure on the... The top. smaller piece. On this one, yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? So should this hold? Yeah. Or do you think it's gonna bust? Uh, I think it'll hold. Baby, it's like crooked. <laughs> yeah, it slouches. No, 100% it slouches. 100%. It's not level. 100%. <laughs>